Welcome back to another edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your coach, Coach Frenchy, back in the house. Uh, we are going to go to the post game on the Saturday, February 13, 2021. We apologize, it's going to be a late one because we have some difficulty with the internet because of a storm in Florida. So I just want to mention, so uh, tonight will be differently. Uh, it's going to be only 10 games we have on the schedule anyway, but it's going to be very quickly um, because we don't want to. Uh, it's going to be a late uh, recording for you guys. So uh, we apologize again for this uh, inconvenience. Paul. So let's start with the first game of the day. It was at 3 o'clock p.m. between the Ottawa Senator and the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, that's the first surprise of the day. The Ottawa Senators beat the Winnipeg Jets 2-1. It was their third win of the season for the Senator. That snapped their four last straight game with this win. And for the Winnipeg Jets, now they are 8-5-1. Uh, and one. And this why this game at 3 o'clock, because yesterday, uh, during the day, Saturday, is the hockey day in Canada. And I was said to my, uh, my friend, because I'm from Canada, um, it's not a special day because it's always hockey day in Canada. <laughs> so... Uh, that's what, but uh, what happened with this, they gave three game. It was a, a trip, a triple header uh, for Canada at three o'clock, seven o'clock, and also 10 o'clock. Um, for the goal, the goal for the Ottawa, it came for Dadonov, his fourth of the year, and also Keith Trechak scored his fourth of the year. This goal is the goal winner in a, only a nine second remaining of the game. So a 1951 of the pass of Riley, uh, Trichuk score, and it was a bad play from Eli Buk, gave the puck to Riley, and Riley shot the puck, and Trichuk score. Um, there was also the first win of the year for Hartberg, the goaltender for the sen Senators. They have a really bad beginning of the year, honestly, but uh, uh, to see him performing like that yesterday, uh, saved 30 of the 31 shot, good performance for him. It was also his only third win uh, in, a, in NHL for him. Um, for the um, Winnipeg Jets, is Mark Schaffel scored his sixth of the year. He was the first goal of the game. He was the only goal from the Winnipeg Jets yesterday. Of course, Elibu got the loss. Uh, by number, a shot on the net, 31-29 for the Jets. The face-off was square. 50-50, same thing for the power play. Both teams have 0 and 1. The hit was just 21, Senator 17. And the black shot, 23-11 for the Senator. Uh, same number of penalty, um, four-minute penalty for, for both game, uh, for both teams. And finally, they gave away a little bit high for the Ottawa with 16 and for the Winnipeg Jets with 12. So again, um, win from the... Ottawa Senator yesterday, 2-1. Two, two, so let's move on for the next game. And this game was at 4 o'clock yesterday. Uh, so one hour later, uh, the Vegas play at San Jose. It was the first time this year San Jose pl play at home after 12, uh, 12 game, And they were going to play the, for the next 42, uh, 44 game for the remaining of the season, 28 of them is going to be at home in San Jose. At the final score, the Vegas won 3-1 to one after they lost uh, the second game of the year yesterday. Um, so um, good performance for the Vegas. Uh, all the three goals was on power play. That's another thing that's make a difference. They scored three on five attempts. And the three goals came from uh, Marshall So It's Ford, Mike Stone, fourth of the year. And uh, Stephenson scored his fifth. I believe now he's at three straight with a uh, game with a goal. And again, that's maybe one. This is maybe the biggest surprise in NHL. Flurry uh, won his sixth of the year. He's a 6 1 1 at 1.58 goal average. Again, uh, amazing. The only goal from the San Jose, he's on the fire this week, scored his third goal the last two games at uh, Hurdle. With his sixth of the year. We have a mistake there. It's not Pedersen, but uh, honestly, it's Jones lost the game as a golden there. 
And we know that Nick is on the injury right now. Uh, pie number 26 25 for the shot for the Vegas. Uh, 59 41 for face off for Vegas. 3 and 5, like I said, for the power play for the Golden Knight. And 0 and 3 for San Jose. The hit was 27 23 for the San Jose Sharks. Uh, the black shot 15 10 for the Sharks also. Minute penalty 10 for Vegas, 14 for Sharks. And finally, gave away very low number 5 for Vegas, and 7 for the Sharks. So, um, a good game for Vegas. They, like I said, they lost 1 0 the, the day prior. Now they come back and they score. They, they win and they play another game uh, Sunday. Again, the Colorado is a back to back game for them. Uh, for the next game at seven o'clock, we have a couple of go, a couple of game at seven o'clock. Uh, this is another surprise, and they snapped their ten uh, point straight game. Boston Bruins last yesterday four to two um, again, the New York Islanders. That gave Boston Bruins ten two and two. The two last of the regular season. It's game for the New York Islanders. So um, with this win of 4-2, New York Islanders fall now at 6-4-3. Uh, the shot was 42-30 uh, for the New York Islanders. Rask um, did very well in front of the net. Uh, the sh- face-off uh, net dominate, domination by the Boston Bruins, 64-37. Power play 0-2 Boston, 1-1 Islanders. They hit 36-27 for advantage. Islanders, the Black Shot 13 Islanders, 12 Boston Browns, uh, two minute, two minute, pen, uh, two minute of pen, penalty for the Boston Browns, and uh, Islanders are four. Gave away a little bit high for the Boston at 14, and Islanders 11. Uh, the goal came from uh, Martian is nine of the year, Bergeron is seven of the year, uh, and also Pasnek have two assists. Martian have, and have two points and also Bergeron, the last one to Rask, to be honest with you. And also the goal uh, come from Peugeot, 34, two goals in this game, one and the shot and done. Eberle got his sixth of the year and also Barzol got his sixth of the year. He scored also on power play, he was the goal winner of the game. And Valamov again in front of the net is getting better, he's having another great game. Um, Stop 28 of the 30 shot he faced today uh, for the the Golden Door <coughs> New York calendars. Uh, <coughs> overall, this game was pretty even. Um, you know, it was two and two at some point. After two and then uh, two goal, um, Barzell and, uh, and Paul play in the uh, third period. That's make a difference. So uh, good game for the Dors. Like I said, snap for the um, after 10 game. Uh, for the Boston Browns, uh, finally they got a loss. The next game we have to go Montreal Canadian against Toronto. This game was in Toronto. That's another surprise of the day. Um, Montreal beat Toronto Maple believe one uh, two to one. It was one zero after two period. Honestly, after two period, you can see Toronto was a bit better. But at the middle of the second period, Montreal came back a little bit stronger and finally have an amazing great third period. And they scored two goals on the Toffoli, his 10th of the year. And Gallinger is 6th of the year at 3 minutes and uh, 9 seconds remaining to win um, the game, the goal winner of the game. And Carey Price have a great performance in front of the net. He's always played well, to be honest with you, against Toronto. And again, yesterday, he gave a chance to Montreal to stay in the game after the first period because he has like saved at least three, th- two or three more goals during the first period. Uh, that's the reason, maybe that's the reason why Montreal win because he gave them a chance to, it was only 1-0 after the first period. That's Mitch Marner score his seven of the year. Matthews have an assist on that. That gave him uh, extend his straight with one point uh, with 12 game now. And uh, overall, Anderson got the last, uh, the second goal. He could not do anything, to be honest with you. Um, with this game, uh, Montreal fall in 9, 4, and 2. They are out for one week. That's the longest uh, of days for, for the season. Toronto fall at 11, 3, and 1. The shot was a bit low, 25, 
22 advantage for Montreal Canadiens. Face-off pre-event, pre 49-51 for Toronto. Uh, power play 0-0 and 0-1 for Toronto. Very quiet uh, tonight for the penalty, uh, for the power play. Uh, the hits taken out, 46 Montreal versus 16. Montreal was everywhere hitting everybody. Uh, it's rare you see a difference of 30 between two teams. And uh, that's one of the biggest number of hits by one team this year in NHL. So very surprised how Montreal uh, react after the last um, the last two game with two loss. So um, good for them. The black shot twenty one for for Toronto and only four for Montreal Canadiens. And finally, twelve minute penalty for both team. And um, the the you know at the end of the day, a great performance. The Carey Price stop. Uh, you know, 21 and 22 shot on the net. And like I said, this game, it was a momentum. The first 30 minutes, most Toronto, and then the last 30 minutes, and more the last 20 minutes, uh, Montreal was all over um, Toronto Maple Leafs. So uh, that was the end of this game. Let's move on to the next game. This one, honestly, it was one way. And uh, after maybe the Tampa Bay was frustrated or maybe Pop uh, Popovsky was not very good, uh, final, the final score, Tampa Bay 6 and Florida Panthers 1. Uh, that gives Tampa Bay 10-2-1 for Panthers 8-2-2. Two two. Um, during this game, just want to remind you, Stenkos is out with a COVID-19 and maybe a, a, upper, a lower body injury, but that's not more, uh, it was more in disclosure about that. And uh, also, Cirelli is out, he's a week by week, so it's another uh, you know, injury, we know already Kucherov is already out almost for the season. The shots for the game was 34-28 for the Panthers. Um, the first half was 52-48 for the Lightning. The power play 1-3 for the Lightnings and 0-4 and for the Panthers. The hit was 36-8 for the Panthers with 25 for Lightnings. A lot of hit tonight. Uh, the black shot, 12 Lightnings, 8 for the Panthers. Minute penalty, 19 for Lightnings and uh, 17 for the Panthers. And they gave away only five Tampa Bay and nine Florida. And I also want to mention Duclair was back in the lineup after missing one game for COVID-19. Uh, the goal uh, for the um, Tampa Bay came for Palat. He's six of the year. He's opened the, the first goal of the game. It was 0-0, by the way, after the first period. And Tampa, Tampa Bay scored four goals straight in the second period. It was 4-0 Tampa Bay. Uh, Joseph is fifth of the year as he gave him a three straight goal game. Johnson second in the third of the year. Volak, uh, Volkov scored his first goal of the year, but also his first goal in the NHL. And finally, good row score his third goal of the year. Vasilevsky got the W. Uh, for the Tampa Bay. Uh, for the only goal came for Frank Vat Vatreno, uh, his third of the year. Uh, and of of course, Sergei uh, Proposky got the last and, uh, for the Panthers. The next game we have to move on. We have to go with the Columbus Blue Jackets versus the Chicago Blackhawks. And again, Chicago beat Columbus 3 to 2 yesterday. Uh, Another great performance. The Chicago they gave both now both teams have the same record seven five and four. Uh, something happening during this game is Patrick Lenny fight uh, a eagle for the Hawks and uh, Lenny did not do well during this fight. To be honest with you, uh, the shot was pretty even 31-31. The face off net domination for the Hawks sixty five to thirty five. Uh, it's rare you know, you pass the number sixty. Uh, so good job for Chicago. 0-1 to the Columbus, 0-2 Ox on power play. The hit was pretty even, 28-27 for Columbus. The black shot, 18 for Columbus, 8 only for the Hawks. And the minute penalty, 9 from, Chica uh, from uh, Columbus, 7 for Chicago. Gave away same for both formation for team with 12. The goal came for the Columbus um, at Kitson, his fifth of the year. And Patrick Laney score the sixth of the year. He's opened the score. The last come to the goaltender, Corpusello. 
And for the Chicago, uh, Bodin scored his second goal of the year uh, for the rookies, a back-to-back with a goal. So Dober scored his first goal of the year, is also his first goal as a member of the Chicago Ox. And uh, finally, the Brain Cat scored his eighth of the year, the goal winner, and also Patrick King got two more assists um, this year uh, during this game. And Lincoln, and the rookie, Lincoln and continues his great job and fun the net, and he is again get another W. And again, Chicago win, and they split a uh, back-to-back game between Columbus and Chicago now uh, this week. The next game, we have to move on with the <laughs> this is our sixth time they meet already this year. And with this win and OT, the St. Louis Blues, 5-4 to four again. Coyotes, both teams have three W um, between uh, both formation and six game. Uh, with this win, the St. Louis fall at 9-4-2 and two for Coyotes, 6-6-2. Six, six, the shot was 35-36 advantage Coyotes. Uh, face off 52 48 advantage the Blues, the PP. Both of them are zero goal and two at them. Uh, hits 40 versus 18 for Coyotes, a net domination for the Coyotes. The block shot 20 by Arizona, only six for the Blues. Minute penalty, both of them have the same number with four. Gave away seven by the St. Louis, 12 by the Coyotes. And finally, all the goal. It came for the Blues from Clifford, is third of the year. Sanford, second of the year. Barpeshev, second of the year. Kiru scored his sixth. And finally, in OT, uh, Mike Hoffman, fifth of the year. The goaltender winner for the St. Louis Blues was the rookie, Uso. For the Coyotes, uh, you know, Garland consciousness is straight. Another goal is sixth of the year, looking great since the beginning of the year. The rookie Hayden scored his second of the year. Schmalz is sixth of the year. And finally, uh, Hunt is first of the year. The last one to rent uh, for the goaltender. Um, great performance uh, for uh, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, they came back and, uh, and they win. And finally, we have to mention also um, for the Coyotes, uh, OEL. Uh, play his second game since his injuries are helping a little bit more the Arizona Coyotes, but not good enough to win um, tonight. So uh, good performance, St. Louis. I just want to mention to you also, the St. Louis Blues did not play uh, with uh, Schwartz. He's an injury report. He's a week to week by now. He's something we have to follow up for sure. And the next game we have to go is the game between the Nashville uh, Predator and the uh, Red Detroit Red Wings. You know, two teams struggled since the beginning of the year, and uh, Detroit went four to two. Um, that gave them their fourth win of the year. They are now four ten and two. Nashville, nothing doing well over there. They have a difficult year. To be honest with you, they fall six nine and zero. Uh, the shot was thirty twenty three for the Red Wings. Uh, Face off fifty nine Red Wings to forty two uh, Nashville. Both teams did not score on power play. 0 and 4, Detroit 0 and 2 for Nashville. They hit 19 13 advantage, uh, the Predators. The block shot 14 12 advantage, Predators. Minute penalty 4 only for Detroit, 8 for Nashville. They gave away very low 5 only for Detroit. That's one of the best game I believe, for since the beginning of the year on giveaway. And 11 for Nashville. The scorer for the Detroit, February. Score his fourth of the year. Ernie score his first goal of the year. His first as the member member of the Detroit Red Wings, and also it was his first goal since uh, December 2019. Uh, Clint Denning have a, a game. He scored his first of the year, but also he have two assists with three points tonight, and uh, he scored his first goal since January 2020. Uh, finally, Anthony Manta scored his fifth of the year. And it was the return of Jonathan Bernie between the pipes, and he got another win. Uh, so welcome back, uh, Bernie. That we're helping for sure that Detroit. Now they have two solid goaltender in front of that. Uh, for Nashville, nothing's going on over there. It's really, uh, you know, they have a really difficult year so far. Uh, Grimaldi scored his third of the year. The only really player have a good year so far for them is Osberg, is seven. Uh, Rene got the last. He was uh, removed after the second period, uh, to be honest with you. 
And um, I don't know. Um, I cannot figure out what's going on with that, but uh, I would not be surprised some change could happen in Nashville the next couple of weeks. Uh, another game happening also, it was between the Carolina Hurricanes versus the Dallas Star, and the Carolina win again, a back-to-back game against Dallas, the game final, final score 4-3 to three for Carolina. Uh, this was a shootout. Uh, Dallas get only one point. Uh, but uh, this should deserve a little bit better at the end of the game because, you know, uh, you can see they was a little bit more aggressive tonight. Uh, last night it was flat and, um, you know, good performance. The golden, the whole thing going in front of the net, but not good enough to, to get the W tonight. The shot was 29-21 for the Dallas Star. The face off 52, Carolina 48, the Star. Uh, power play, both teams score one goal, one and four for the Canes. Kane and one in three for the star. The hit 17 13 for the Hurricanes. The black shot also 20 12 for the Hurricanes. Minute penalty six for the Kane and eight for the star. And gave away 12 for the Carolina, but 21. That's maybe the one thing Star struggled tonight with 21 um, gave away puck. The goal for the, the Carolina came from Martinuk, his first of the year. They were in and his first of the year, Star, he's on fire. He scored his third goal straight goal. Um, his fourth of the year, this goal, he was on power play. And finally, in shootout, the only goal and the six shots during the shootout came for Vincent Traszczyk, the goal winner. And it was um, Nedel Kovic was the goaltender for the game, got his, the W. For the Dallas Star, Dickerson scored his third of the year. The rookie, Robertson, his second of the year. And Pavelski uh, scored his ninth of the year in power play goal uh, at the end of the game. And honestly, uh, unfortunately, the, the last come to the rookie, Goldender, Antinger. So another win for the Carolina. Now they are 9 3 and 0. And finally, the last game, uh, not the last game at 10 o'clock p.m. It was the only game at 10 o'clock, but late one uh, for the Hockey Day in Canada. The Vancouver Canucks surprised the, the Calgary Flames by the win of 3-1. That was the seventh win of, of, the, of the season for the Canucks. Now they are 7-11-0. Uh, Calgary f- fouled at 7-6-1. Uh, the shot was net domination of the Canucks yesterday. They was on fire, 46 versus 19, without uh, an amazing performance of Max Strom. This game could be like 6-1, to one, to be honest with you. The face-off was 55-45 advantage, the Canucks. Uh, nobody scored in power play, 0-3 for the Flames, 0-1 for Canucks. The hits was pretty even, 2019 for the Flames. The black shot... 19 Calgary, 12 Vancouver. The minute penalty, only two for the Flames, six for the Canucks. Gave away, uh, not too bad, seven for the Flame, 11 for the Canucks. The only goal from the Flame came from Sam Bennett. And, um, and uh, for the Canucks, uh, the goal came for the Queen Hughes, the second of the year. And the third period, they scored two goals to win this game. Uh, Myers, the second of the year. And finally, on the empty net, Brandon Sutter, Score is fifth of the year. And finally, Damco got the W for um, for the Vancouver. And finally, um, Max Trump got the loss for the Calgary. Let's finish this video with the three star of the game. Let's start with the third star. We talk about him. Max Trump have a great performance in front of the net. Um, he saved... 43 of the 45 shot he faced yesterday. And um, without him, I've been you, the Flames, uh, we have a really higher scoring against tonight. So uh, the second star of the night, we have to go with Jean-Gabriel Pajot from the New York Islanders. Scored two goals for the Islanders. And also we have one goal on the short and done. And finally, the first star of the night, it's Luke Glenn Denning for the Red Wings, uh, Detroit Red Wings, with one goal, two assists for three points. Um, they have 10 games tonight. And one thing was really interesting for me. I look everything, every stat, everything like that. He's the only one with three points tonight. 
20 team in action, and there were a lot of great players on the ice. And uh, <laughs> Glendening got the third, the three point, the first star on the Saturday, February 13, 2021. So great day. We know already you have three games was postponed yesterday because of COVID 19. So uh, it's going to be a little bit more quiet Sunday the 14th with only two games in NHL. But we invite you, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel under Hockey Nation Live Show and also on Facebook page where you can get all the information, news, updates, and like that and, uh, around the NHL. This is your coach, so thank you for the from the house. And before we leave, we always want to remind you, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great, sudden night.